welcome back to my youtube channel guys i've missed you and before we even go on with this video i need you to subscribe so hit the subscribe button right there i'm waiting for you to do it and also hit the notification button next to it okay have you done it thank you thank you so much okay so in this video we're going to talk about things i have learned in my 20s in my 20s i have learned that life is not that short you see the way you say oh your law you only live once yes when you're in your early 20s yeah and you go and your law is wiped up with you only live once and life is too short so let's let me do every crazy thing uh guys if they lie to you life is not that short it is so long especially when you're broke life can be too long so don't let anyone lie to you that life is short no life is not short the other thing that i've learned is that family over everything family will always be there for you at your best and at your worst so you need to go and you need to love your family you need to always be close to your family you need to strengthen the bond uh, in your family because those are the people that will got you the their support system is so important uh, in my early 20s i didn't know that but now that in my late 20s i understand that family is everything like literally everything after god the other thing is never compare yourself to anybody comparison is a killer of joy and happiness you don't compare with yourself with peeps you might see peeps doing better than you but you don't know the demons they are battling with stop admiring people's lives and stop comparing your lives your life with other people's lives stick uh staying in your lane everybody's um, journey is different so don't don't beat yourself about it don't go uh, comparing yourself your life is different my life is different from my friends life and you have to learn that don't compare yourself the other thing is not everyone that you talk to is proud of you or wishes you well some people uh, um, hide their jealousy in and hide their jealousy jealousy is disguised as correction and advice so don't take anyone's advice uh, the thing is, some people may have uh, good reasons at heart, best interest at heart, but not everyone. So you need to be careful who you taking advices from. But they say, why would you even, why would you take advice from people who are not advised by God? Always be careful who you take advice from. And the thing is that don't chase life. This is how I would put it in Swahili. Usikimbizana na maisha. Kikimbizana na maisha. I don't know if that makes sense, but you just need to practice patience and just know that Rome was not built in one day. You have to be patient in this life and don't don't waste, don't like you get in your that is, you don't have a kid, you start stressing about it, you don't have a husband, you start stressing about it. Maybe your life is not well put together, you start panicking. No don't and then you start doing crazy stuff so that you can keep up with life don't do that that one is going to keep you it's going to hurt you and it's going to make you make foolish decision and stupid mistakes that you would have avoided if you were patient one uh, disappointment people will disappoint you big time even the people that you you think they they would never disappoint you they will disappoint you and you know they will disappoint you because we are all human we are not perfect so at some point you will be disappointed so be ready for that and when people do, uh, disappoint you don't go overboard about it just always try to practice forgiveness because peeps will disappoint you yes even that person that you think they love you the most they will disappoint you at some point in your 20s you will meet a lot of fake friends fake 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 friends yes those, those some of these friends come disguised as angels but 
they don't have the best interest at heart you will meet so many fake friends and by the time you hit 30 you hit 30 or your late 20s you will have met like a bunch of fake friends but it is better if you take caution when you're younger you will be able to avoid those fake friends the thing is do your thing unapologetically do your thing whatever makes you happy do it as long as it's not it doesn't harm anyone just go ahead and do it and don't care about what other people say people will talk whether you're doing bad or good they will talk just know that so do your thing unapologetically uh let me give an example there's no day if you are going through something your friend or even your sister will call you and tell you hey vicky leo watch any kubebe stress leo lala leo mindo na kubebe stress yako that one will never happen so nobody really really cares nobody they care yeah to some extent but not but not to that big extent there's no day someone will come and carry all your baggage and all your luggage no there's no day that so anything that makes you happy go ahead and do it do it yes last point uh it's more connected with this next thing this is life is personal life is personal and no one is responsible for your life you are responsible for your happiness for your happiness even your parents they are not responsible for you you are only responsible for yourself and don't expect other people to come and make your life better or carry your life you are responsible for your life you are responsible for your happiness life is personal what i've learned is that always surround yourself with good people great company people that support you people with the best interest at heart people that bring the best out of you these are the people that you should surround people great people people that challenge you to go to do good things these are the kind of friends you should surround yourself and always find yourself a mentor uh, a mentor is very important a mentor is someone you can always look up to and you have serious things to talk about to talk about and you need to you need some sober advice it's usually very advisable to have a mentor surround yourself with love with peace and with people that are close to god people that know god people yeah people that can so people with sober minds it's okay to have fun once in a while and have those yeah turn up friends but most of the time those turn up friends are just for turn up but it's really really important in as much as you may have those kind of friends it's very important for you to have very sober sober minded friends that can always correct you in a good way and always keep you focused the other thing that i've learned is it be your biggest fan always clap for yourself even if there's no people yeah i mean even if people are not clapping at you you need to clap at yourself you need to psych yourself up you need to be your biggest fan be confident believe in yourself if you wait for people to clap at you then you will you some will yeah but definitely not all other time people will clap for you so you need to be to clap for yourself that i've learned is that it's okay to make mistakes don't beat yourself up as long as you you rise up and you learn from your mistakes it is okay I'm not saying that you go ahead and do mistakes because it's okay to do mistakes but it's okay for well, a mistake some mistakes are inevitable so if you don't beat yourself about it forgive yourself and dust yourself up and rise and continue doing life the last thing <laughs> that I've learned is that oh my god there's no sleep there's no sleep in your 20s have to be sleep bye bye sleep is so sweet sleep and that all the thing is a trap growing up is a trap <laughs> there's no sleep i still can't believe that you can't sleep as much as you want yeah it's one thing i've learned 
so guys that's it now i'm not uh, uh those are not like everything that i've learned i've learned a lot of things in my 20s a lot a lot but those are like the highlights some of the things that i find like more important to me right now there are many other things i've learned some of these things guys i'm not an expert at life <laughs> but some of things are work in progress yes that i thought i share with you guys i hope you can pick a point or two yeah and that's it for today guys and see you in my next video like this video share it and don't forget to subscribe yes don't forget to subscribe <laughs> Rudi ya tuwe ni muingereza ama unajifunza. Sumisho. Waweza kusapla. <laughs> Waweza kusapla. Mgonga. <laughs> Waweza kusapla. <laughs> Waweza kusapla. <laughs> Waweza kusubscribe. Oh my god. Niandikie. Sabu. <laughs> Waweza kusubscribe. Kama <laughs> kama unavyoona utamsaidia mwenyewe. Waingie kwenye link. Kusapkula? Subscribe.